Hello and welcome to my channel. I feel so good having you. Oops. Okay. Let me first throw this. <laughs> okay. We're done. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. If it is your first time of, uh, of course, uh, subscribing or coming to see a video on this very blog, I'm saying thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And if you are a returning subscriber, I also want to thank you for always coming back and checking on what is new. This is our journey. I'll we'll go through this together. Now today I will be telling you a few uh, things you can see or things how to identify a toxic friend yes that's what we're going to talk about on our last love and leave or leave can make life meaningful um, they can provide social support they can provide mental support they can provide spiritual support they can always be there and it makes life like way way interesting and it gets even more interesting when you know the type of friends that you are connected with the connection with friends is very very expensive and uh, if you have a friend that you have been with for a couple of years I think the longest I can put there, could be two years. If you have been having that friend and that friend has been there for uh, two years and you are still with that very friend or more than two years, and then you might have noticed a few things uh, or why you are actually staying with that very friend. And unfortunately, some friends might not have that positive impact in someone's life. But one thing we always have, to, one thing we always look for in friendships, it's just that connection, that person that can provide you, you know, with all the good things, the positivity, that's all we need from a friend. Now, how can you identify that your friend is toxic? Point number one, put you down. Well, we always get to joke with our friends, uh, good nature jokes, you know, life jokes, friendship jokes, and it's good when you get to laugh over that. But if your friend, friend demeans you and uh, sometimes they make you feel too small, sometimes they feel like you are not worth it, then that kind of a friend is not the friend you have to be with. That friend is toxic and you have to leave. Point number two, you tell him or her something in confidence and uh, all of a sudden you get to see that your side knows almost everything that you've told, every single bit of what you've told that very person well breaking trust is not a very good thing but if your friend is the very one openly breaking your trust then that means that is one friend you have to be with i've talked about this in some of my blogs that it is important to have a so a, a support their yeah, friends support but if that very friend of yours is one person you want to lean on and you cannot lean on when you tell something then the friend tells someone else and then that friend is toxic so you don't need that very friend in your life number three is she or he apologizes with that sincerity you know, there are moments you tell your friend that, oh, you know what, what you did yesterday. I mean, I go out a lot with my friends, by the way. I go out a lot. Okay, it's not like I have really so many friends. I can count my friends five or, five or less. Others, I have people I hang out with. So, um, then you go out, you get to point out, say, you know what, um, this, what you did yesterday was not good. And then they, instead of them apologizing for what they know that you've told them that is not good, they get to apologize and be like okay sorry and sometimes they come up with words like i'm sorry that is how you felt i'm sorry you made you felt that way and then sometimes they can say sorry they try to mean it and then they come with a but if your friend cannot apologize to you sincerely and then that, that friend of yours is toxic or if in any case you get into a fight and then you get to quarrel and um he, he or she will be like sorry but you know uh, you know, it's it's always not good. So if your friend cannot apologize to you, then that friend of yours is toxic. Apologies, uh, sorry, um, thank you. Uh, what is the third, third magic word? They are, they are always those magic words. So sorry is one of it. So if if your friend is saying sorry, that friend should mean it. It shouldn't be something like, oh, let me just say sorry. I mean, she is doing this, yeah. So yeah, if she doesn't, or if he doesn't apologize sincerely, then she is not your friend, or she is a toxic one, or he is. Oh, he is a toxic one. Also, your friends, um, they make you nervous. He, um, there are moments when you feel like this very person is going to say things that are not going to make me feel comfortable. You get very nervous when you are having them around you. 
or if you have a meeting or if you have meetings together like you feel every time nervous you are afraid of saying something because you feel like you'll be tied on your neck you are afraid of uh, doing some things because you feel like that thing is going to be repeatedly talked over and over again and you're always you're always scared of suggesting new things it is always up to them to suggest new things you feel like you, you don't feel at ease every single time that your friend is around i'm telling you a friend is supposed to be that very person you cry on you know come on the shoulders and then you cry on so if if your friend if if the person you call your friend makes you nervous and then that very person is not your friend or oh, you you might have come with uh, something you needed help on but then you try you try to talk to them but then at the end of the day they make the story all about them instead of this story about you so instead of you you know um uh, trying to solve the issue that is you you get to solve maybe their issues you get to be unheard well if you are always unsettled if you always go to your close friends and then uh, you come back with whatever way you felt when you leave i mean when you met them then that means that is a toxic relationship you're not supposed to be in toxic friendship you're not supposed to be in you are if you are with your close friends you are not supposed to feel unease you're supposed to feel ease you're supposed to feel like the most like you are supposed to be very I compare you with okay comparison generally 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 comparison they compare you to other people they compare you to their past friendships they compare you to their past relationships with some of their friends how it has been in the past how they've been like oh you know viola has this very person and viola is like this viola is the best viola is you know, every time if you feel like they are comparing you that's not a good one i've always believed that people have their own unique traits people have their differences people are different others are introverts others are extroverts extroverts others talk about their things others don't talk about their things so if your friend is always comparing you then that means you're not that you're not the right one for her or for him and the other point is they always put themselves first they put themselves in front of their food they put themselves as the center of everything um if you're out they hijack your conversation maybe they get maybe they get you in, in, in a conversation with someone they get to hijack that conversation and uh, if there's anything that someone has asked you they get to jump in always they don't leave you that time to express yourself they don't give you that time to you know say what you feel how you feel they always want to be the first if it comes to going out if it comes to having uh if it comes to visits if it comes to you know everything everything even if it's even if it's about you they always make it about themselves and uh, the last one is they try to change you you are a different person i did say that people have different trends people are people are different others are intro introverts others are extroverts they get to change you they always feel like you are not supposed to be the person you are well if the change is positive i mean it's a good thing if it is positive but if the person is trying to change you and then you know that you are not comfortable with the change maybe because it's so positive or maybe because the person they want to change you to is not the person you want to be and then oh no you need to leave because toxic friendships affect you in so many ways in so so many ways and i can't tell you how how it can affect you i don't know if you've noticed this through your friendships or you've not but a toxic relationship makes you feel lonely makes you feel isolated as well increase your stress like, toxic relationships make you feel like you're not supported toxic relationships toxic friendships i don't know why i'm putting it as a relationship toxic friendships they make you blame yourself for your behavior you often feel like you're off balance and above all 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 they make most of your relationships not work if you are with a toxic friend you will literally have that very toxic friend you will not have um you not have someone in your life maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend and uh, your relationship with your family members as well get affected because they always want to be the center of everything um it literally it drains it drains your life now like i've i've said all this and i have another 
another vlog that is coming up on how you can work on this because I'm telling you, having a toxic friendship is not a good thing. Friends are supposed to make us feel comfortable. Friends are supposed to, you know, help us grow. Friends are supposed to help us be the people we want to be, not people who make you feel drained, not people who make you feel lonely, not people who make you uh, stressed, not people who make you feel like you're not you know, valued, not people who don't see your worth. Let your friends see your worth. If your friends don't see your worth, there is still a way you can live a toxic friendship. I will be coming back with the next episode or with the next vlog, with the next vlog on that. Oh my God. <sighs> what the